I mean, if you cut to a building exploding and it's a cardboard box with lines drawn on it and bad flames, you know, and why not? You know, I think you can get away with murder, frankly. Hello, my name is Tom Sullivan. And I'm here to make a, a documentary, a short one about me. On Evil Dead, I was Mr. Special Effects. As soon as I hit the, uh, the location, I turned out I was the unpaid, uncredited art director as well. Artists come up and say, sure. right. you know, I'm doing this because I saw your book or your work and holy cow, that happened to me when I saw King Kong. King Kong, King Kong, King Kong, King Kong, King Kong, King Kong. I was five or six years old. It was a Saturday morning around 10, and my brother and I are just flipping around looking for cartoons. And uh, to this day, it's my favorite film. I've seen it well over 100 times, and many of those times it's like frame by frame. And just that just got me hooked. And I also I thought if adults get to do stuff like this when you grow up, sign me up. I mean, seriously, I, I want to do this. The Lovecraft thing started with uh, The Cry of Thulu. And um, uh, that's when I started reading them. I thought, oh, this is, this is really interesting stuff. I love that first person narrative and uh, getting the ramblings of people's heads. And uh, it's, everything's unveiling right before you. It's a really interesting writing technique. And the imagery is great. Um, uh, but I did a lot of artwork for Cry of Thulu and, and uh, some maquettes. I think a Lovecraft stop motion film would be great. Live action stop motion. Lovecraft meets Harry Hawson kind of thing. Uh, we, we tried that. Uh, we started a film called Cry of Thulu back in the 70s before my work on Evil Dead. And that was the plan. And uh, it was, would have been a very, very cool film. <laughs> I thought, oh, I gotta find out, I gotta get my head in the right space, you know, to use the kids' lingo, which is just hard to do with a film because uh, the director's got the words down, but you aren't seeing what he's seeing at all. And trust me, that was the case with Evil Dead. It was nothing, and you'd think it's just a by the book horror film. It's all that stuff that's behind the camera that goes on that just pumps the whole thing up. And I got it, you know? Oh! You're not, the, you're supposed to, this is like a joke. This is like the kids putting on a haunted house, you know, and you, you're blindfolded and they hold out your hand and they slap, you know, spaghetti or something in your hand. These are the brains. Ah, ah. You know, it, it, I just got it, the, the, the joke, that don't take it seriously. This stuff is supposed to be fun. Our audiences tend to get it. You know, that this is just fun, it's screwy, goofy. Um, intentionally screwball kind of thing and yet everybody's playing it seriously so you, you know but so it's not really a parody it's just kind of self-aware I didn't like study accident scenes or mutilation photographs I don't want to look at that crap ever really uh, so I just made it up like the finale effect in the uh, in the original script uh, the clothing the people under the clothing just more or less deflate Sam's idea was he'd have me build balloons and then they were just going to kind of deflate and have smoke come out. But I'm thinking if during the movie, when this is happening, somebody goes, you've just killed the whole movie. Because the finale should be the sum of every all the violence that has gone before plus more. And it should be something just that goes, oh no, oh. I mean, because it's a gory film. <laughs> Fun gore. But the finale has got to go nuts. <laughs> and so I started selling Sam on my idea. <laughs> Just make it fun. And so that added to the silliness. And then with that, you can kind of go off as over the top as you want. And that's what we did.